Hey guys, Mr. C here with you. I'm going to give you the answer to number six from the problem set. And we're going to work through the momentum problem. So the problem reads, a 2,000 kilogram car moving at 10 meters per second east collides with a 3,000 kilogram truck moving north. After the collision, the cars stick together and move as one unit with a velocity of 5.22 meters per second directed at an angle of 40 degrees north of east. So what they want us to do is find the speed of the northbound truck before the collision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have these vector arrows. The one right here represents the car and the vector arrow going north represents the truck. So what we know is we can make it a quick axis and what I can do is I can call north the y-axis and I can call east my x-axis. I'm also going to label the angle 40 degrees and I'm just going to go ahead and, and label everything we know. We know that the car was moving with a speed of 10 meters per second, so I'm going to say V of the car, so VC, equals 10 meters per second. We're trying to find the velocity of the truck, so I'm just going to label that VT <coughs> equals question mark. And then also we were given the velocity of the car plus the truck moving together as a unit is 5.22 meters per second. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to use conservation momentum to try and analyze this problem. Since we're concerned about the velocity of the truck, which is a y component, I'm going to start off <coughs> by doing my conservation of momentum in the y direction. So, move the page down a little bit. What we have here is the momentum before in the y direction equals the momentum after the collision in the y direction. Well, looking up at the car, since the car is moving in the x direction, it has no component of velocity in the y direction. Therefore, for before the collision, we know that the momentum of the car is zero. And then for the truck, it's just the mass of the truck times the velocity of the truck in the y direction. <clears throat> After the collision, since the cars stick together, their two masses become one. So what I'll do is I'll say the mass of the car plus the truck after the collision is just mass of the car plus mass of the truck times the velocity of the car plus the truck in the y direction component. So looking up here, what we're concerned about is this y component of velocity to analyze for conservation momentum in the y direction. So going through and impl plugging my numbers, I have mass of the truck times oops, velocity of the truck in the y direction equals mass of the car plus mass of the truck. And since instead of saying velocity of the car plus the truck in the y direction, I'm going to rate it in terms of the velocity we were given, namely velocity of the car plus the truck times the sine of 40 degrees. And that will give us the y component of velocity. So go ahead and plugging our numbers. We get 3,000 kilograms times the velocity of the truck in the y direction equals the 3,000 plus the 2,000, so 5,000 kilograms times the velocity of the car plus the truck, which was 5.22 meters per second times the sine of 40 degrees. Going through the calculations on the right-hand side, you'll find that you get an answer of 16,776, and I'll just write 0.75, but the decimals carry on, and that equals 3,000 times the velocity of the truck in the y direction. Well, now it's as simple as just dividing by 3,000, and so going through, I find the velocity of the truck in the y direction is 5.6 meters per second, and of course, that's directed north. And there we have it. All right, I hope this helps you guys out. Have a good weekend.